my name is Minnie Ayanuzzi and I'm the supervisor of STEM K-12 here in Eastchester School District. This year we brought Reveal Math program to K-5 through and today what you're going to see is a sneak peek of what Reveal looks like in the classroom. So we piloted Reveal Math last year with uh, two teachers per grade level and this year was the first year that we implemented reveal throughout the school district K through 5. We're going to start this lesson today looking at this. So in this lesson you're gonna see Miss Chiapelli with her first grade class at Waverly and this lesson is really about what does an equal part mean? What does it look like? And how do we describe and prove that something is equal to another part? Miss mm -hmm. Chiapelli is going to put some numbers on either side. We are going to see what happens when I do that. This is really the introduction to fractions and fraction thinking for the later grades and serves as that foundational learning. What happened when I put seven on this side of the scale? One of the features of Reveal is that students get to work in different ways throughout a lesson, so they're never just sitting and bored. Then they get to work in groups or in pairs or individually on solving problems. Think about it in your mind. If I take five and two and I put it on this side, turn and talk to a partner about start out the lesson always with a notice and wonder or a, a conversation starter that gets them thinking about the mathematics. What did you notice? Melina? Um, both of the houses are, the two houses are not equal. The first one is smaller and the other one is bigger. So like if you use it on like those equal things, then it I'm would scared. be like that. There's always also a chance for students to reflect on their learning at the end. Um, this metacognition is extremely important in order to um, really take the learning to the next level. So they're not just applying something new, they're now actually thinking about that application. This leads to longer term learning and, um, and keep retaining of that, that information for all kids. What have we learned that you love so much about Reveal Math? Uh, the open number line thing. That's one strategy that you really enjoy? Um, uh, the equations. Equations. How about part, part total? Should we do it? Should we show him part, part total? Ready? Let's say it. Part, part total. So one of the hallmarks um, of Reveal is the spiraling idea. And what you're gonna see actually is by the end of the year, students have amassed a whole number of different ways to express addition and why those things work. So you'll see an example of you know number lines and um, visual models and bar models and things like that that really show the deepening of understanding of what addition and subtraction really mean. We, you know, we've had some questions from parents. It, it definitely looks a little bit different than maybe how you and I learned math in, in our classrooms. Um, and, you know, the math itself is the same. It's just that the thinking behind it has become a little bit more at the forefront. So it's not, you know, we're not just memorizing formulas or memorizing how to do things. We're actually trying to teach kids why they are doing these steps. Why are they um, using these formulas so that they can actually apply them to real problem solving situations in their life. Reveal math is so awesome because it teaches me so many things and I have so much fun doing it. This is how kids should engage in the classroom with mathematics so that we really promote critical thinking and problem solving for the future. And these are things that won't just you know, serve them well now, but hopefully will serve them well as they progress through Eastchester and then of course in their everyday lives and, and in their futures. <laughs>